Sydney there's Town Hall. I had to get off the street because it's just too loud over there. It's a little bit more quiet here. There's a uh, some sort of a church cathedral. I walk by it every day. Don't necessarily know what it is. But anyway, before we kick it off I'm Dave and this channel is dedicated to giving you no BS novel dating advice for the modern man. So should you take time off? Uh, myself I never really took time off until I, I hit that point where I had a, I had a hip replacement and I, I lost all my money. I became, I was on the verge of being homeless, uh, totally lost everything and I had all these medical bills coming in and I found myself working seven days a week just to pay me medical bills and uh, keep, keep keeping a roof over my head. and. Uh, I was saving a lot of money and I then my other my other hip started to hurt and I became more in touch with my mortality at such an early age that uh, as well as having the the disability and on top of that knowing that I, I'm not sure if I'm going to live too much longer and on top of that uh, while I was working seven days a week I um, I saved so much money that uh, I could actually do that and I decided look I'm going to just game technically I'm just going to spend years out here just you know approaching girls dating girls and and uh, running rampant and try to enjoy my life while I can and there are certain situations where you can do that there's certain situations where I wouldn't recommend it let's start with those first you know you got yourself a career and you want to game more well how about you focus on your career and save enough money and then really start thinking measuring how much long how much how, how long until you have to you retire um, do you have any illnesses uh, how long do you think you're going to live the, these are questions that you need to ask yourself and most of them you won't be able to answer you've got to make a, a decision for yourself on how long have you got left and what what is the return on you quitting everything do you have enough finances to do so myself I did I had saved enough money and I, I figured out a way a, a living arrangement that that allowed me to just game all the time uh, every day now uh, if you have a career I recommend for most of you guys the majority of you guys you stick with your career and especially if you're new there's not a there's not going to be a a, a fast rate of uh, uh, improvement in a short period of time if you're doing the wrong things if you're a newbie there's a good chance that you're going to do a lot of the wrong things now recently I, I met up with one of the guys that did an immersion with me a while ago and I realized that he he didn't really listen to hardly anything I'm, I was telling him. And he's literally doing almost everything wrong. <laughs> Look, he's doing okay. He's getting some dates here and there, and he's got himself a regular in his, his local area, and things aren't too bad. Um, I've hooked him up with a wing that is uh, that did an immersion with me as well, and they're hanging out, and uh, unfortunately they're, they're hanging out and doing a lot of day game together which is technically a waste of time if they're doing night game together and and they're gaming in their local areas understanding that game cold approach day game is a solo endeavor but he's making all of these mistakes that are just I thought were just common sense that I drilled into him but he's making all of, all these bad mistakes and he's gaming a lot now if you took all your time off and you just do the wrong thing then your results are going to suck if you don't uh, if you take the wrong ideology on then your results are going to suck uh, I did notice that as well with a lot of guys 
during that period where I was gaming every single day, that was, that was all I was doing was every day, I would message my wings, uh, uh, you out? That was literally the question. You out? Are you out? Where are you? Let's go. Every single morning. And, and then, you know, we'd get talking and then every afternoon we'd message other guys and go, okay, which, which bars are open? Which clubs are open? Where are we going for night game? Now, I noticed a lot of the guys that were spending a lot of time out there gaming were doing everything wrong. And their egos took over because they were gaming so much and they thought they were doing everything right. When they're doing everything wrong, the results sucked. And are you doing everything right? That, that's one question you need to ask yourself as well. That's another layer of complexity. So what I do is I recommend that guys that have a career, you're making money. You don't want to ruin your career. You don't want to ruin. You don't want to lose your job. Uh, you don't want to reduce the amount of money that you're making. Uh, I recommend that you just do three approaches per day. And uh, when you're only doing three a day every single day which you're going to discover isn't as easy as you thought over time you'll have less approaches to analyze over time you did three yesterday none of them hooked as an example none of them hooked the day after you've got you've got six approaches to analyze the next day afterwards it's easier to analyze your approaches when you're doing it consistently and three a day over a long period of time than spending all day, every day out there doing the wrong thing, all day, remembering nothing that you're doing wrong, and um, messing everything up technically. So, for the majority of guys, I do recommend you just stick with your job and do three a day. This takes a long time to, it just, it's like you plant the seed, and you do three a day after doing an immersion, you know? and I, I teach you the right way to do it and if you learn and you listen and you you, you can actually take instructions um, and you're a quick learner three a day over a long period of time maybe one year maybe two years it'll radically change everything it really will I, I recently checked up on one of my clients from two years ago he went from a virgin uh, in university uh, just he turned up uh, to coaching every day wearing the exact same clothes <laughs> uh, he also uh, on some days brought a backpack <laughs> and um, you know he so the first the first couple of days the first week we really just focused on game uh, focusing on his cold approach skills what he's saying his text game etc within four days he lost his virginity and um, I was going through a period where I wasn't this was two years ago when I wasn't really getting many clients coming to me I'm getting a lot more now but um, I had a bit more time to answer his questions and we would meet up and we'd go to the gym together and we'd hang out a little bit more together and uh, within a month of starting the initial coaching with me he had a rotation of four girls and at that point the winner effect kicked in so he got a little bit of success then he got a little bit more success a uh, little bit of success like tiny little little thing like got a few few numbers then he got a few dates within four days he got laid that gave him a testosterone boost it gave him a do dopamine hit it gave him the belief that this could happen and it slowly built and built and built on that and, and it built over time built to the point where he uh, he started getting a lot of success and now I checked up on him and he's now left Australia so Australia is a relatively hard place to game and so he took those skills to the United States and um, he's now got a you have a look at his Instagram, it's just flooded with really hot girls. He's hanging out with models, he's partying, he's increased his fashion sense and all of those other things. These are all the small one percenters that come after you learn proper games. So you learn game, you don't worry about the fashion so much, you don't worry about the vanity metrics, you don't, you don't worry about wearing a suit and looking all pretty. You, work, you focus on the, the raw, fundamental game aspect of things. Then you add the other, other one percenters. You get a nice haircut, you, you start wearing flashy clothing, you know. Um, 
then you start working on your social media. And it all builds on that. It all, they're all connected and they all build up over time. And this is why if you're working in a, a proper career, you've got a proper job, I recommend that you just do three a day, you analyze it properly, you get a little bit of success, and you get a little testosterone boost from winning, you get a little bit more of a dopamine hit, next thing you know, over time, it, it, uh, it builds on that. And um, next thing you know, two years later, you won't recognize yourself. Uh, but again, <laughs> if you're doing the wrong thing, uh, everything, at the, the results aren't gonna come. They're, they're not gonna come at all. You're just going to uh, waste a lot of your time doing the wrong thing. And that's why I recommend that you sign up and do some coaching. So anyway, top link in the description. Uh, go to my website, onemanslifemission.com and uh, sign up to some coaching. So um, anyway, that's today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one.